the city demographics were changing, that the largest migration in history is occurring today. That people are moving into cities at an alarming rate, causing huge problems. So the best way to fix that is not more roads and more, more vehicles. It's actually managing the system better and then building the right vehicle for that situation. So what we've done is taken a look at this from the ecosystem side. So let's build a, not only the bus, but we build our own battery charging systems. We build our own terminals and our own depots. We now have a command center that actually follows the bus around town and maximizes the transportation. There's, there's things I think that we should, as people, be really concerned about. The city of Manila is number two in the world at risk for climate change. The country is number nine. The congestion and the pollution is killing them. The electric vehicle has the advantage of very few parts. If you see the world bus, what you're going to see is 300 parts, major parts. Compared to a, a gas car, it'll have 3,000 parts. It costs about a third to operate as a gas vehicle. So not only doesn't it pollute, not only is it quiet, but it also is economical. One, it had to create jobs, not lose it. Two, it must work within the existing infrastructure. So we couldn't raise any of the prices. Uh, three, it must be sustainable. And four, it had to make everybody's life better from the passengers on through. So what we developed is reoccurring revenue streams in media. So we have a TV on board, we have wraparounds on board, and we developed our own fare collection system. If we don't fix transportation, we don't fix the cities. So we believe for Vancouver, we can provide a hub that will bring clusters in of electric vehicles, everything from batteries to, to chargers to, to the intellectual side of things. So I think for Vancouver, this is not just bringing in a, a new manufacturing plant, this is bringing in an industry.